Hey guys, hey guys, hey guys, hey guys, hey guys. So today I'm gonna to be playing something on the game preview program on Xbox. If you've never heard of this before, it essentially takes a lot of the really cool kind of Steam Greenlight games like Ark and the Solus Project, which is what I'm gonna be playing today, and brings them to Xbox One. They're very much still in beta, they've not the full release of the game yet, but you get to try them out and give them a little bit of a go. The Solus Project is something that I've been looking at a lot on uh, on Steam. It's kind of a space exploration game, so straight away that got my like Mass Effect senses tingling. That's a hard sentence to say. My Mass Effect senses ting. My Mass Effect senses tingling. There we go. That's why I'm on that hard. So it gets my Mass Effect senses tingling. It's something that I really want to give a go. Um, and I think it's kind of a bit survival as well. So it should be really fun. Let's give it a go. So I've just got the trial at the moment. I'm just going to give the trial a go. And if I like it, I probably will. And if you guys like it as well, then I'll probably get the full game. So let's just see what the trial is, see what this game's about and give it a go. I've got 60 minutes left. 60 minutes to play, guys. Let's go. It's in the Unreal Engine. So I've got green tea with me today, guys. I'm trying to do this thing where I drink five cups of green tea per day. And it's quite hard because if you've ever had green tea, it tastes like sad tea. It's like coffee, but without the enjoyment. Ooh, that is quite mass affecting music, guys. I like this so far. In the year 20, no, 2115, scientists identify rogue class B star traveling towards us, Earth, and the solar system will be destroyed. The proloceptor lance and uh, oh my god, it's going too fast. We're, we're going to Pluto. The Earth is destroyed. It's gone, guys. It's gone. With nowhere to go in our last resources, scramble to five scout ships are sent to five different worlds. These pioneers undertake our first intergalactic travel to boldly go where no man or woman has ever gone before. Which is kind of like Interstellar, right? That's what they did in Interstellar. Our one chance survival one last chance of survival is the Solar Project. I struggle when things are appearing on stream and they're gonna go away. I kinda of panic. I'm like, ah! I can't read it, I can't read it. So, I'm guessing that I am one of these pioneers of space, 15 years later. So Earth's gone, guys. Like, just give up all hope on Earth. Mission TSP-3 arrives at Jalize 6143C. Yeah, that was right. Mm. Oh, look! They may have found a new habitable planet. I mean, it's quite red. I've seen a lot of redness there. Could be volcanoes. Not very homey. <gasps> what? What? What just happened? Where did we get blown up? Also, guys, there's no sound in space. That's not how space works. <gasps> the ship is exploding into blueness. Why blue? What shot us? We I think we were in the little escape capsule. Departure from Sol's to be successful. Oh. Oh, this is reminding me a bit of Alien, guys. I don't like that. I've got a little picture of a dog, though. I like that. I've got a little dog on screen. We're going towards that planet, aren't we? Oh gosh, oh gosh, I'm now kind of thinking that this might be a scary game and I didn't realize that it was a scary game. Please don't be a scary game. Oh no, oh no, oh no, look at that, that's not meant to be doing that, that's spinning way too fast. Oh guys, crash landing. Are we alive? Are we alive? Are we alive? That's not a good sign. Does that mean there's little atmosphere? Because we kind of need that. I mean, we need a bit of atmosphere. Not just, like, not party atmosphere, just for survival, really. Ooh. Oh, look, that's all the debris from my ship falling. Oh, that's... Oh, wow, there's a lot of it crashed already. And then... There's a lot of rocks that kind of look like the Giant's Causeway in Ireland. Have we just fallen and smashed our suit open? Because that was pretty dumb of us, if that's so. Ooh, what's that, what's that, what's that? 
So here we are. We've lost our home planet. We've crashed on an alien planet. Okay, let's find out what this is on the floor in front of us. Oh, how do I... I pick it up, X. Survival Overseer node. Ooh, that's very, that's very Fallout. Crafting. Select an item to combine. Let's combine two rocks. I think we just made a bigger rock. A sharp rock. Ooh. Oh, guys, there's a lot to focus on. So, that's our body temperature. It's looking pretty good. We've had 15 hours sleep, so we're all good there. Oh, we've got 15 hours left until we need sleep. That's our calories, so that's going down. So we need to eat quite a lot of calories to stay alive. Can we crouch? Yes, we can. Stretch of desolation. Oh, that sounds lovely, but it's fine because we've got a sharp rock. So this is the debris of our ship. This is a good looking game. This is a good looking game. I like this. Look at these. Please follow. Survival training. Please follow. Okay. Find a place to take shelter. This is kind of a creepy shelter though. Drink from fresh water. How do we know it's fresh? Oh, it's drinkable, it's drinkable. Yay! Got my drinks. Scavenge for some food. We've got some roots here. Can be cut. Ooh. Got some of these. Get some more. These oh my god, the controls are so sensitive. Scavenge for some food. What's this? Ooh, scavenge for some food complete. Guys, we're doing well. We are, we're surviving. We are surviving. Locate a pipe to use as a torch. How can a pipe just be a torch? Find something burnable to cut down. Okay. I mean, I'm glad it's telling me all this, because otherwise I would have, like, literally no idea. So I need to combine these two... No, don't pick it up! <laughs> Yay! It's the weirdest torch ever. How do I light it? Okay, oil. Okay, we need some oil farms. I hope there's no scary monsters on this planet. kind of feel like there might be, though. The most dangerous way to make a torch ever. Surely that's just gonna kill me. Oh! Hey! <laughs> Kids, don't try that at home. That's a very dangerous way to light a torch. Am I on fire? I'm gonna go and see what's where those waves are coming from, though. Into here? Find a way into the cave and investigate the sound. I mean, the sound sounds a bit terrifying. Can we just burn these pipes down? Okay, we can't get in this way. There must be another way. There has to be another entrance. But where? What's the Ooh, what's this? Take all these. Right, we definitely want some of this stuff. Take our water bottles. Take our food. Take whatever that is. Ooh! A teleport. Teleport device. That's handy. Ooh! More things. Definitely take the water bottle. Take another pipe. No, take it, pick it up. There we go. Some more food. Inventory. Damn it! Why can't we store anything? What is that? A backpack. Oh yay! We've got a backpack. I can definitely carry more stuff now. Keeps telling me to do that objective, but I can't get through that way. There must be another way. This is weird, man. This is weird, and it's getting to night time. I'm pretty sure it wasn't this dark before. Oh, please don't run into some creepy little animal thing. Alien life. Could be anywhere. Oh, this is a bit claustrophobic. What's that noise? Why has it got music? Oh guys, I feel like something creepy is going to happen. Ah! No! What does that mean? Guys, I'm scared! I'm scared! Guys, 
guys, I'm freaking out! So this car is again? I'm trying to run back to where we started, but I don't know where I'm going. It's so dark. What is happening? Oh my gosh. This is freaky as hell. Right, we've passed this bit, we've been here before. 8%. I don't know what that means. Oh, that's my stamina. That's my stamina. That's because I'm running because I'm afraid. Did we get away from whatever was bad? The game feels like it's calming down a little bit. Oh god. What was the anomaly? Okay, we're back to this bit again. The creepy music has ended at least. are going numb. Find a way into the cave. But I don't know how. I don't understand. Teleport. Short range. Should we try and use this? Throw a disc. Okay. Oh, I can teleport through. Oh, nice, nice. Carry enough supplies and to explore deep caves. Oh God. This feels like it's gonna get really scary really quickly, guys. Man, like, how were you to know that you were supposed to use that teleport device? Like, that was actually quite difficult. I'm impressed with myself there. <laughs> That's all the training on Unravel. <laughs> oh, it requires a tool, but we threw away our rocks because we're not, we're not the brightest of all space adventurers. Right, oh, this cave is like glowing. How is it doing that? It's kind of lucky that the planet we arrived on has all this uh, water that we can actually drink. Oh guys, oh, this is a bit claustrophobic. This is claustrophobic. If something was to pop out here, we'd be done for. Hopefully that won't happen. Why can I hear whales? That sounds like whales, doesn't it? I hope we're going the right way. Oh! Guys! They are eggs. Those are eggs. What is that? A light crystal. Inventory oh, this inventory, inventory thing's a nightmare. Okay, so if there's eggs, there's definitely some sort of animal life on this planet. And it may not be a good source. Oh, candles, what? How, that must mean people are here. How can, how can there be candles here? Like human candles too, right? Can we be in the water? Oh god. Anything could be in the water under us right now. Oh, I don't like this game. What is that big shiny rock? Can we swim underwater? No, we can't, we can't. Oh, we can. No, thank you. Hypothermia. Get a torch back. Our spacesuit must be not be very like good at looking after. Hypothermia registered. Hypothermia. Oh, we're too cold. Warning. Operator cold and wet. 
How do we... How do we get ourselves hot? Let's get away from the water first. Start a campfire. Yay. Oh, what? Deeper into the cave. I don't know why we're doing this. Oh, if this was me, I would just curl up and die. There's no way I'd want to explore an alien planet. That's terrifying. Light some more candles. I don't know why. Just to tell all the creepy aliens that we're here. This feels like a game that like, I wish you could play with people because it's kind of scary playing it on your own. It's all getting a bit creepy. <gasps> what the hell was that? I swear it's like a little porcupine thing then. I think it was afraid of me. Oh, what? What? Get away, get away, get away, little porcupines. They look like the seeing enemies. Get away. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's a shrine. Oh! Oh, he's not good. He doesn't look good. Inventory full. Maybe we leave the shrine alone, because that seems like a way to get people, get aliens mad at you if you're messing with their shrines. Oh god. Oh god, guys. Who wants to do this? Why would I go down here? Why is this all here? Have we been here before? Like, why is he not like, what the hell is happening? I didn't expect this to be so, like, cavey. I thought it would be a lot more, like, above ground stuff. Oh my god, there's fire coming out of the floor now. <gasps> Thanks, baby! Passage of the Trappings. I can't, still can't see a damn thing. Oh! That's a human! What is that I've just picked up? A sword? Ooh, I can kill things now. Why can't I have a sword with a torch at the end of it? Why have I just mechanised? Oh, it's behind that, it's behind, it's behind. Let's follow down here. Ooh, traps. I don't think so. This planet isn't as untouched as we thought. I need to report back. I need to record this. Wilson, record. This is Octavius Sken, environmental analyst with the Solus Three detachment on Glies 6143C. As if it took I landed on an archipelago. Lots of rock and tough flora. As far as the eye can see is shimmering ocean. The atmosphere seems habitable but it might be volatile. I'll keep gathering data. I followed a strange sound after the crash, which led me into a series of caves. And there's more than just geology and dripping water down here. There are signs of civilization, carvings, mechanisms, buildings. We're not the first beings here. I found a skeleton, a humanoid skeleton with a strange elongated skull. <gasps> I, don't I didn't know what see its skull. Its skeletal structure is so similar to ours. I need to keep going. I'll see if I can find a way to link with the satellite and submit my data. Scan out. <gasps> what the hell was that? Oh no, thanks. A big stick in my head. Oh, there's loads of them. How do you know which ones are going to come down? Oh! Oh, that just stuck in our heads. How are we supposed to know? We're gonna have to run. <laughs> oh, we've been massively stuck though. We've got blood all over our screen now. <gasps> what? A... <gasps> Back out into the light. Yay! Finally, we got out of that horrible cave. Follow the path to find out where it goes. Hopefully not to whatever the hell was chasing us before. Oh, that's it. That's our full 60 minutes. 
So that's the whole trial of the Solus Project on the Xbox One preview program. Let me know what you guys think. I'm really confused by that game. If any of you have played it and have some advice, or know what's going on, or know better ways to kind of store stuff, because the inventory is tiny, so how are you supposed to do anything? Uh, then let me know in the comments section below. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!